Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how to do this glitter fishtail plait ready for any festivals you might be going to um, or you just want to be a bit extra. Who knows? <laughs> um, so if you want to see how to get it, then just keep on watching. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is just brush out your hair just so it's easier to work with. And I have long hair, so mine gets matted quite a lot. <laughs> okay. And then you're going to need um, a hair tie, or you can get, like, the elastic ones. Um, I don't really like them, so I'm just going to stick with this one just because it matches my hair colour anyway. And you won't be able to see it. So, for me, I don't like mine to be too, like, perfect, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to, like, ruch my hair up. And I've obviously got it to the side here. I'm going to bring this bit a bit tighter and bring it round and then you want to section it into two, two even bits so I think that's about right. Okay, this first bit you need to be quite tight with it um, just so it's kind of nice around the back. Um, so how to do a fishtail is to take a small piece from the outside, twist it, add it to the other piece. So we'll just do that with this one that I've already just done. And then you want to kind of pull it tight. And then finger, get a little piece from the outside of the other piece, twist it, add it to the other one. Pull. Outside, twist, add. Pull. Outside, twist, pull, <clears throat> outside, twist, pull. Outside, twist, pull, outside, twist, pull. Outside, twist, pull, outside, twist. Keep going until you're at not quite the end but near the end and then we'll go from there. Okay, so I'm going to leave like this much hair um, and instead of putting the band right underneath the plait, the, the last one, I'm just going to put it like down here. So my last plait is like here and I'm leaving a gap. So I'm going to do that as tight as I can and the reason we do that is so we can pull it apart to make the plait look bigger. It also makes your hair look really thick when you do it as well. Okay, you can always pull it down a little bit more as well once you've tied it up. Okay, now what you're going to do is start pulling the plait. So just pull it apart like this. And it makes it look a bit bigger. Um, you can also just like pull random bits to make it look a bit messy. So I'm going to start pulling this side a bit more. And just like pull like bits of hair out to make it look a bit more like beachy and mermaidy. So just like pull your flyaways out. Like that. 
I've got quite fine hair, so this is actually quite thick for me. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so here is the actual plait. See, I've got a few like flyaways out. We've pulled it, it's a lot thicker. Um, you can keep going however long you want to. Um, but I think that's enough for me. Um, okay, so next you're going to get some Vaseline. So I've just got like a small pot of Vaseline and a flat brush. And I'm just going to coat the brush and put this on random bits of my hair. And it will look gross for a little bit, <laughs> trust me. I'm kind of just going in the centre. And you can always get a friend to help you as well if you can see. I'm just using a mirror to guide me for this top bit. Because I can't see either. <laughs> and it doesn't really matter if it's not precise because it's a festival look. Nothing's precise. <laughs> so, yeah. So now I've kind of coated the inner part with Vaseline. And I mean your hair is going to be super soft when you do wash out, wash out the glitter because... Vaseline is so good for your hair. Um, you could use like um, a gel, like a hair gel. Um, I don't own a hair gel. Um, but yeah, <laughs> Vaseline will do the trick. Okay, and it doesn't dry either, so you don't have time restrictions. Okay, then I've got like a more fluffy brush. Um, it's not overly fluffy. I'm not going to do the whole thing that I normally do because there's already glitter on it from where I've done my body. Um, so I've just got like a random selection of glitters. They're all from Give Face Cosmetics. I highly recommend Give Face for their glitters. Um, so I've got like a pearly um, silvery one, a couple of greens, a red and a gold. I think I'm just going to go with the the gold, the greens and the silvers just because I've only got one bit of red going on. And I think the green looks a lot I don't know, a lot more mermaidy. <laughs> so I'm gonna stick with those. So I'm just gonna take some of the silvery one and I'm just gonna dip my brush in and I'm just gonna randomly go over the Vaseline. Simple as that. Um, if you do have blonde hair, um, you might wanna change the colors um, because this kind of silvery one and the gold probably won't show up in your hair very well. Uh, maybe get like some blues or purples, pinks, that sort of thing. That would probably look a bit better than these colours. Um, but these ones will stand out pretty well in my hair. So that's what I'm going for. So we've got the silver in. I don't know if you can actually see that from there, can you? Hopefully. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to go for the gold. The gold's kind of like um, an iridescent gold. It's kind of got different... Um, different colours in it. Like holographic, that's the word. Holographic. So that's the gold and I'm kind of just merging it all together. Again, you don't have to be precise. And then I'm going to take a green colour here. It's kind of like green and blue. Um, it's really nice. And again, I'm just kind of going randomly. And yes, you will be covered in it for ages, don't you worry. <laughs> and I'm not even going to a festival, so I'm going to have to live with this <laughs> for the rest of my life. I'm absolutely in love with that. So I'm just going to zoom you in so you can see it a bit better. So here is the plait. How gorgeous does that look? <laughs> so that's the end of the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm absolutely in love with this. And I'm not even going anywhere. 
So <laughs> if you do recreate it, do tag me in it. Um, all my socials are at the end of the video. Um, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.